Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, real estate, the channel, and the networks within. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA, and joining me today is Nathan Pavelka, a numbering porting software and solutions pioneer with 10x people. Nathan, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you, Buffy. It's great to be here. I appreciate the opportunity to spend a few minutes with you and uh, just really excited about uh, being here at Channel Partners this year. Yes, the floor is buzzing. We are here oh live in fabulous Las Vegas. Over 8,000 attendees here uh, for Channel Partners 2024. So you're enjoying the show so far? It's, it's incredible. And I have to take the opportunity to give a shout out to Channel Partners and the Venetian you know, the show is uh, an hour and a half from opening the doors, and we can already tell that this is going to be an incredible uh, Channel Partners Expo this year. So kudos to, to those two groups. Yeah, I think it's going to be the biggest and the best Channel Partners yet uh, to date. So super excited to be here live from the Welcome Pavilion uh, here for JSA TV. So let's talk a little bit more about 10X people and some of the technologies that you're investing in and why numbering solutions are so important, Nathan. Yeah, I, I would love to. And, and, and first, for, for anybody that is not familiar with 10X people, we are the company that carriers and service providers call on to help simplify and streamline and automate and even reduce costs associated to their, their numbering management practices, particularly hoarding, TN inventory management and ordering, as well as number lookup and intelligence. And I have to say, in investing in this space is, is a, a foundational practice that we are participating in at 10X People. Because as you look at the industry and just feel the pace of play, we are evolving at a very rapid clip. And we're moving along at a pace that we've never moved at before uh, in the history of telecommunications. And to be at the forefront of that, continuing to invest in the space, our solutions, the products, being able to move so quickly while at the same time, everybody is being asked to do more with less, you know, fewer, fewer dollars, fewer yeah. people, fewer resources. And to be able to lean into that space and help carriers and service providers solve some really challenging uh, complications is an exciting place to be to help really maintain an operational uh, level of excellence as well as customer satisfaction. You know, we're seeing this uh, in, uh, in, in our solutions across the board, so we can be at the right place at the right time to help customers evolve in their number management practices. It's really exciting. It is, it's very exciting. And when you talk about evolution and evolving, yeah. why don't you give us a little bit more insight into the evolution internationally and what solutions and strategies uh, 10X People is providing globally. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really exciting. For any of us that have the international space in our go-to-market strategy, you know, we look at the international landscape and, and, and the first thing that we see are the complexities that come with it, right? Because no two country maintains the same right. level of regulation. No two uh, country has the same regulations. Uh, no two customers on the international land space have the same challenges. And so some of the things that we're doing, I mean, it, it all starts with, uh, you know, engaging in discussions with the right people. And we always start with our customers who are operating at the international space um, to learn about the challenges that they have so we can take those challenges to our local partners on the uh, international landscape. Today, we're providing uh, authoritative data to more than 100 countries. And so we have an opportunity to really lean into that international space, take that information that we're learning from our customers, our partners, the local uh, stakeholders uh, around the globe, and bring that back to our product management team to help leverage that information into the evolution of our solutions uh, that can not only solve the challenges of today, but the challenges that we're anticipating next year. And that uh, practice is being done across the board with our entire solution stack. And if I can, just talking a little bit about, you know, where some of that comes in into play. You know, we cut our teeth in the porting business, which porting has been around for a long, long time. Um, but we've done what we've done recently is we fully automated that uh, transactional process from start mm -hmm. to finish to include the uh, pre-porting stage, which is where all of the heavy lifting is done, especially when there is a particular fallout. And so having a flywheel automation that allows us to catch that, fix it, put it into the system for automation the next time through, 
I mean, our service providers and wholesalers that are, are leveraging that are seeing a 50% reduction in fallouts uh, in almost real time once implementing our solution. And so that's just an exa one example of how you know, we're taking this information that we're gathering, building solutions that solve really complicated problems and help uh, carriers and service providers do more with less. It's a lot of fun. So it is a lot of fun. And we didn't bring Penelope, uh -huh. the boarding panda to Las Vegas. We didn't. I brought uh, <laughs> Lionel the look up uh, lion, uh, right. or excuse me, Lionel the look up links with me to uh, Las Vegas this uh, this time around. Well, so. shout out to Penelope, the boarding it? panda. How about it? Uh, we miss you here in Las Vegas, but I'm sure we'll see her uh, at the next conference. So while we're talking about international mm -hmm. and global business, why don't we touch base on the Canadian thousand block pooling change mm -hmm. um, and how that change is going to be managed by 10x? Yeah, well, it's going to be managed by a lot of folks um, from a lot of different areas. And, uh, you know, this is a this is an opportunity. This is an evolution in telecom, particularly here in North America, that we're particularly excited about. Now, I know there's a lot of uh, questions about what thousands block pooling is, what it means. And for anybody who works here in the U.S., um, you know, we're familiar with ordering telephone numbers and we know that we order in codes and blocks. Well, in Canada, until a few weeks ago, they've never had that practice. They've never had that process. And so uh, the Canadians uh, are looking at their future and seeing that their numbers are being exhausted and need to come up with a solution, which is really what Thousands Block Pooling and that mandate is all about. It's about ensuring that there is a practice regulation in place to be able to provide efficiency along with the, uh, the number ordering and management side of the house. And along with our customers, our partners, our stakeholders in Canada, and a host of others, we're at the table helping them make decisions on what they believe is the best solution for the Canadian market. And having solutions, having experience in this space is, uh, is allowing us uh, the opportunity to be at those tables, having those conversations and playing a small part in uh, helping them establish a, a, uh, a practice that will provide efficiencies well into the future. Well into the future, eh? Well into yeah. the future. All right. And finally, something important to you um, and in the ecosystem in general is trust oh and creating that trust. Uh, why don't you give viewers a little bit more insight into how 10x people is enabling trust within the ecosystem. I'd, I'd love to it and, and trust. You know, this is such a timely topic, it right? Is. There's there's a lot of chatter in the industry right now about the levels of trust that are out there or lack thereof, and so it's 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 a topic that is near and dear to a lot of people's hearts, and uh, it's certainly one of our core tenets at 10x people. Trust to us is built of uh, you know built around really three principles of security reliability and transparency, which is a big ticket item. And so for us, it's ensuring that we are following, you know, uh, uh, security best practices with everything that we do, that we are being transparent in the work that we're doing with our customers, our stakeholders, as well as the industry forums that we're actively participating in, which is something that uh, we take very seriously to be at the tables not just there to check a box, but to be there actively participating with the other key stakeholders, um, helping shape policies that will protect us and allow us to, to really thrive uh, moving forward. And so we're gonna maintain our high levels of trust. Um, like I said, it's one of the things that we're built on and it's something that we're gonna continue leveraging um, from the bottom up, from the top down and, and across our organization. Thank you for that great insight there. You're welcome. Um, and when you think of trust, think of 10X people. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to another episode of JSA TV. We are live all week long from Channel Partners 2024. Stay curious, stay connected, and happy networking.